Now, I also get a lot of questions and we have one or two of those in the chat as well about low GPAs in general, period. So if someone has a low GPA for any reason, either they goofed off or had personal issues or they took tough classes. And I know obviously a, a, a low GPA in something hard sciences might be more understandable than a low GPA in a commonly great inflated major. But regardless, yeah. numbers and numbers, what do you say to those applicants other than, of course, get a high LSAT score? <laughs> right. That would be the easiest. Uh, well, that's a relative term, I guess. The LSAT. Getting a high score on the LSAT, I, would no, I should never call that easy. Um, but, uh, I mean, your number is your number is your number. Um, usually by the time you apply, your GPA is fixed or basically fixed, right? Um, and so I think you have to use the other parts of your application to provide us with enough information um, that tells us, okay, you are going to be ready to do high level work um, and you have the requisite skill set to do it. And for, you know, for, for that applicant, my grades are not the best that they can do. Um, and, and that's not, you know, that happens, that happens a lot, right? Um, we have room in the class for people with less strong um, GPAs, and we typically have a really large range from the lowest GPA to the highest GPA in any given one L class. Um, but if you don't provide evidence and information elsewhere in your application, through your letters of recommendation, or maybe you've done other things um, that aren't reflected in your grades, like you've you know, done, like maybe you did an internship or you've worked for a bit after college. Um, other things that we can look to to say you have the requisite skills, you know, you're going to be able to do high level uh, analytical thinking, you know how to write, um, you, can, you can handle, you know, really a rigorous workload. Um, those are things that, you know, for some people, they're just not captured in their grades. Um, and it doesn't necessarily have to be for lack of effort. Um, and, uh, you know, we can, we can look to other pieces, but if we don't see those other pieces, then we're only left with, you know, a, a less than stellar academic performance, you know, that's, that, that is what it is, right? So I think if you're in that situation, you wanna think carefully about how you prepare the other pieces of your application and really think about how you're gonna demonstrate you have the, the, the skills to be, you know, to do the kind of work that's required in law school. Um, it's not for the faint of heart. So, um, and it might be just a question you should ask yourself in general, right? Am I ready for a really rigorous academic experience? This is not, you know, you can't cram for law school exams, you know, you can't just sort of skip class and be okay. <laughs> um, so maybe you just need to also ask yourself if you're the right path for you. Um, I think there's, you know, kind of a few different things you want to do in approaching it, but you can demonstrate the skills outside of, you know, a transfer. Uh, it's a little bit tougher case to make because, you know, it's going to require, um, um, it's going to require more, you know, it's going to be some requiring some at explanation that you know isn't required with a transcript but you can do it and I do you know see people who do that and they come to law school and they do great um, and they're fine academically so um, we do have experience with that with trying to you know discern who those folks are um, versus someone who you know doesn't have a great academic background and is not really a good fit for for our program um, and the rigor that's that's involved. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.